I would wear stripes. This is not a good thing to wear if you're trying to look smaller, honey. Why? Why am I wearing stripes? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Vegan with me, Erin Wells, and you read that title correctly. This is part three of my raw vegan journey, day seven. Let's get started. Y'all, I woke up this morning just hungry. I don't know what happened. I was like, oh, I'm hungry. What are we gonna eat? So for breakfast, it is 9.38 in the morning. I want some curry. Um, so I made some curry. All right, guys, taking a whole can of coconut milk. I'm putting that into a bowl. Then I'm gonna take a whole can of diced tomatoes. And then I'm gonna take about two thumbs worth of ginger. I'm gonna process that and put that into the bowl as well. Stir, stir, stir. Now it's time to season. I'm just shaking in some coriander, some curry powder, and some cumin. Putting that into the bowl, seasoning it well. About a tablespoon of each if you need a measurement, but you see I just shook to the ancestors told me to stop. Salt and pepper, some garlic powder, and some onion powder also going into the bowl. About two teaspoons of both of those. Mix, mix, mix. Some crushed red pepper, because I like it spicy. A little bit more curry, a little bit more salt and some green peppers. I would have preferred red peppers, y'all, but I had green peppers in the fridge. I'm letting it sit right now. It's been sitting for like 10 minutes, and so I'm gonna get the butternut squash noodles ready and pour it over, and we gonna give it a try. But before I actually eat, let's do our measurements. Hello? Let's do our measurements before we eat to see if we've lost, we. See if I've lost any inches off my uh, waist. There. See that? So if that's correct, then I lost a little bit of inches. Hey, I'll take it, that's like one inch, maybe two. I gotta look at the first footage and make sure I was in the same spot. But for day 14, I'll have on that same chocolate vegan shirt so we can be sure it's the same measurements. I'm gonna go ahead and get excited <laughs> because I deserve to be happy even if it's a lie, if it makes me feel good, let's go with it. But all right, y'all, I'm hungry. Let's go ahead and plate um, this curry. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, topped it with cilantro and red pepper flakes. I like it spicy, baby. If you don't like it spicy, don't do it. All right, so let's give this a try. I'm nervous about these noodles. I know they're gonna be crunchy, y'all. Uh, just put it in your mind. They're raw. Oh, wow. It's not bad. If you actually let this, like, like you mix this up and let this sit for 10 minutes, the noodles will be even softer, but they're not that, they're not like, like they're not that bad. I like that. I actually have somebody coming over in 10 minutes. That's why I need to hurry up and eat. Um, she's getting her makeup done. I'm taking some like lifestyle headshots for her. Uh, yes, your girl got a little camera skill. I'm not a professional though, but I'm decent. Okay guys, I'm calling this raw ish stir fry because you know my peanut butter is roasted. Just full disclosure. Let's take some more of that ginger and some garlic and let's process that up. That was about four thumbs worth of ginger. You know, I don't have a measurement. Sorry about that guys. Put that in the bowl along with a fourth a cup of chili powder. Again, if you don't like it spicy, you can use less. I added some water to the chili powder to really get it out. Adding some agave, putting a tablespoon of there, a tablespoon of sesame seed oil, a tablespoon of coconut aminos. Then I'm taking my natural crunchy peanut butter. Again, this is roasted, so it is not raw. Taking a half a cup, putting that in the mixture, and now we're going to mix. Oh, this was so good, y'all. This is my hands down favorite, but y'all know I'm a peanut butter lover. Um, I'm showing you guys that my stir fry mix did contain anchovy, so do not use the sauce if you buy this brand. And then I'm putting the sauce into my raw vegetables and mixing. Adding a little bit more coconut aminos, tablespoon, two tablespoons worth, and mixing that in. It turned out I don't think I really needed it. It was a little too wet after I added that, but the flavor was still delicious. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's give this a little taste uh, to see if we need to add anything. I didn't add any salt and pepper or garlic powder because I want to see how it tastes first. And I'm starving, by the way. It is 12.24. Remember, so the last time I ate was, what, 9.30 this morning? 9, 10, 11, 12. But I figured the full fat curry would have kept me full, but honey, I am hungry. All right. Mmm. I don't think it needs anything. Ooh. Ooh. That chili paste just hit me. Ah. Oh. Okay guys, before I forget to vlog, it is six something, and I'm about to head to Marley's house for her birthday. She not doing nothing, she chilling, but you know, still. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat the rest of my raw cashews, and I put some uh, raisins in here as well. So this will be the last of this until I go back to the store, and then we'll come back and eat our cheesecake. 
Whoop whoop. <laughs> Say it's my birthday. <laughs> Say it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, y'all. I really didn't want to put this cheesecake in the video. Like I said, the full detailed recipes in the description box down below. All it is is dates and walnuts blended together. Um, then you take cashews and some other ingredients on the top. Blend that together, uh, mush the crust into your parchment paper pan, and then you put the ingredients on top, freeze it. I added some fruit to it, and then I added some chocolate to the rest of my batter to make like a chocolate side. It's a lot. That's why I really didn't want to put this in there because it's gonna take too much time. So full recipe in the description box, y'all. Good afternoon, y'all. Welcome to day eight why do i never know what day it is welcome to day eight of my raw vegan journey um i've actually already eaten breakfast i had some leftover curry but this time i added avocado and jalapenos to the noodles um the curry was even better than yesterday because the flavors had got to marinate but the noodles were not i got halfway through the curry and i'm like something tastes weird and i was like i just kind of tried to you know move the sauce out the way and i was like it's these noodles. They, they, I guess maybe you're supposed to eat them all when you first open a package. I don't know. Um, it is now 12.07 and I need to leave the house by 12.30 to go to Apple for my appointment. But I also want to go ahead and use my dehydrator. So I'm going to try to hurry up and whip some burgers up real quick. Guess who's here, y'all? Say it's Marley. <laughs> Say it's Marley in the building. Did you tell the people that you're two? That you turned two yesterday? Did you tell them? So yeah, I'm gonna try to make the raw burger before I go because I have about 10 minutes to try to whip up something real quick. So let's stop talking. Let's make this burger, okay? All right, guys, attempt number two at my raw burger recipe. So we're gonna put in our mushrooms and our walnuts. There's no measurement for this, y'all. Don't, don't kill me in the comments. But I'm gonna blend that together this time. I'm not gonna pulverize them. We're gonna take them out. Then we're gonna put the other half of that yellow bell pepper. Oh, and I had some leftover walnut mush from before. That's what you see now. We're gonna put some garlic powder, some liquid smoke, some liquid amino, some steak seasoning, garlic seasoning, onion powder. Honey, we're gonna flavor this up. Salt, pepper, blend it, baby. Now this can be mush because remember our other one was not mush. So we're gonna combine the chunks with the mush and that is it, boom. And this time we're gonna dehydrate it and leave it for about six or seven hours. Yeah. Okay, it's 12.27, we gotta go. I'm cutting uh, me and some Marley, me and some Marley. Me and Marley some cheesecake right now. See how she likes it. Oh, it cut way better today. Woo! y'all can get a better picture. This is the one with the chocolate layer I put yesterday. Oh yeah. Mm, I be coming back looking so tired. It is nine o'clock y'all. Um, just walking the door, it's really nine, it was seven. Um, I went to the gym after work, so that was good. I haven't been to, this is my first time at the gym. I know you're like, has she been? No, first time at the gym since I started the raw diet. Um, did pretty well. I did get some more of that Amazing Grace energy, but I got another flavor. Hold on, where I put, oh. I got this flavor, this is lemon lime. It tastes a little bit better than the, the watermelon, so I can do it. We did end up going to the Apple store earlier today. They did not fix my computer. After that, I had to feed her, and so we just went to the first place I saw, um, got her, a veggie platter. She ate good in front of me with no care that I couldn't have any. Didn't even offer me none. Just was eating her food like a two-year-old. After the mall, we went to Sprouts so I could get this and I got me some grapes. Not because I was hungry, y'all, but because I got jealous watching Marley eat. We went to go get the kids from school. Uh, Mel came to pick up Marley. I was still full from the grapes. And What is the professional way to say I had gas? Went straight from my client's house to the gym and now I'm home. As you can hear in the background, the dehydrator is still running. I have not even taken a shower yet because I am so excited. Let me turn it off right now. So we're gonna let that settle for about, cause I think the instructions told you not to immediately open it, I think. So we're gonna let that settle for about three minutes cause I am too eager. And then we're gonna open it together, y'all. It's not that exciting. <sighs> All right, here we go. This has been on. Oh look like burnt cookies and i thought about it when I, before i left y'all that maybe i didn't need all these tears i probably just could have took all these off right y'all can't y'all can't answer me it's been leaked through all this so all the other tears are dirty 
Yeah, okay. So we know next time, just one tear. It's still mush. Let me focus it for y'all. It's still mush, but it's still more solid mush. Wow, it looks like a, get really like bootleg cooked. All right, let's taste it, let's taste it. Let me make a burger, cause I, I want one. I know y'all fussed at me like, girl, go get in the shower, but honey, I gotta try this burger, then I'll go get clean for my cheesecake. Oh, did I show y'all close up? The burger's so small, honey, it's under all. Y'all, y'all saw it. Y'all saw me making the burger. Okay. Oh my God. Somebody gotta try this raw burger. It's not so hard. And it is less mushier. It's still, I mean, it's not a real burger, so I guess maybe this is a good texture for a raw burger. I'm gonna eat this, then probably after my shower, I'm probably gonna settle down with some cheesecake and start editing this video that you're watching right now. But, oh wow, it looks like, I'm just fascinated. Oh y'all, by the way, when I was editing um, part two, and I was here eating all this lettuce, I was like, I look so super vegan. Like, how more vegan can you look? Like, girl, just in case I don't come back, this is the end of day six, just in case. Cause I might not come back on camera. Cheesecake, I'm going to bed. Okay, see you tomorrow. I'm not up yet, Oof. Welcome to day nine of my raw vegan challenge. I have just cut off the dehydrator from last night, y'all. I did not go to sleep last night. After I uh, cleaned the dishes, I ate, I showered, I did have that cheesecake. I came back, um, started washing clothes, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna dehydrate some mushrooms. I had some oyster mushrooms in my fridge that I couldn't do nothing with, and I saw that you could dehydrate mushrooms, and then I also threw in some cauliflower. We're just gonna see what's gonna happen. So I did that at 12 midnight last night. It is now 11 o'clock. So, let's see what it looks like. Mm. I'm not excited about this, by the way. I mean, this looks gross. It looks like a whole insect. It's almost like a jerky. Not bad. Definitely would wanna dip with it. Like, a, okay, let's try the cauliflower. Oh wow, this is soft. Probably need a different temperatures. I just left it on medium. I don't know what medium is. I gotta look at the instructions. That still tastes like soft raw cauliflower. But, but honestly, with buffalo sauce. So I did some layers of plain ones too. Y'all can hardly see that on camera. These are oysters with no sauce. Oh, very even crunchier. Oh wow. Even crunchier. Okay, a little hot sauce in the bowl. I thought about it before I toss them completely. My mouth will be on fire and this is breakfast, so let's not. So really I'm just gonna dip, dip in, in buffalo sauce. Ooh, okay, okay. Dehydrated wings might have to be my thing. Oh my gosh, make some homemade ranch with this. Let me see what the oysters taste like in buffalo sauce. Is it like crunchy nothing? The cauliflower holds the flavor better. But I would still eat them. They in my fridge, so I'm gonna dehydrate them. Just for a comparison, this was on the top shelf in season. This was on the middle shelf and not season. Way more crunchy. Still has a little bit of softness to it. Like still has a bend. This will snap immediately. Um, I mean, take that as you will. I'm I'm really not gonna keep trying to experiment with it, guys. I don't care that much. I'm just really excited. I can make cauliflower wings dehydrated. Like I might do that off of raw because now I don't have to cook. What? These season ones are good. All right guys, in the car, I'm about to head to go get my real breakfast. Um, my friend told me about this place called Neutral Raw in Snailville. It's about 25 minutes away, so let's get cranked up. Um, I did bring a banana, cause I'm, I'm still actually hungry. Banana, and I left my grapes in the car cause it's cold enough to do that. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be starving by the time I get there, but I still wanna go eat and uh, yeah. Oh, plus I gotta go grocery shopping for fish fry. Friday for tomorrow, y'all. So, whoop whoop, car, crank up. Okay, y'all, after what felt like a very long drive, I made it, it's in a little plaza. There's a Walmart across the street. I was lost, I was over there. Like, where is it? I don't know where it is. And I just got the genius idea to come over here. So here's the outside. All right, let's go in.
Okay, y'all, I just ate, so let's give our honest opinion here. I wanna say it was like a 20 minute wait, and I'm like, I got a smoothie and raw stuff. The zoodles were good. I like mine better, but mine are very, very flavor loaded when the, I'm talking about the nut balls. Like, you know me, I like the garlic, the onion. These are pretty much like slightly seasoned. Not bad, but they were just, okay. Don't like zoodles, I still don't like zoodles. I forced myself to eat those. They slightly heated it up to the hottest that raw could be, because I saw a little steam when I, put my fork into the um the zoodles i saw a little steam i was like uh i ordered the raw he was like oh no we, we cooked them or we steamed them over something uh so the enzymes are still intact i was like oh okay intact the enzymes are still intact but i'm like oh okay cool this is busting i took a picture of the menu so you can see what i got i added sea moss for an extra two dollars because y'all kept hollering sea moss in the comments mm. so good but all right, I gotta start driving because I got a long way home, okay? It is 2.35 p.m. Uh, we went to go get some gas, we went to go get groceries, and so now I'm about to dehydrate some more, why is that cabinet open? Now I'm about to dehydrate some more mushrooms and put it on high. Um, this is the girl who did not read the instructions. Put it on high because I plan on eating my cauliflower wings around nine o'clock p.m. So that's six hours on high. I think that's good. <laughs> And I'm also gonna do my oyster mushrooms with uh, lemon pepper. Switch it up. All right, y'all, it's about 3.30. I'm gonna settle down and start editing the pics I took on Tuesday. Marley's here, she got her mac and cheese and snacks. Got your tablet. <laughs> I got my computer. I'm about to start editing, I already said that. And I got the last of my cheesecake for a snack. I'm not hungry, but I'm so bad. This is one of my faults, y'all, why I'm a thick vegan. Um, I when I'm just editing, I like to snack on stuff. I know that's normal, but it's a bad habit. It's such a bad habit. All right, we're about to get to work. <laughs> okay, guys, it is 9.05 p.m. Since I last saw you guys, you know I had a piece of cheesecake. I also ate the rest of the curry over um, some lettuce. I didn't take a picture because it was just, it was a snack. I told y'all I like to snack while I edit. It's, it's a bad habit. I'm way too full, or not even full, like uncomfortable, but I'm way too satisfied to eat the cauliflower and the oyster, so I'm just gonna put it in the fridge and we'll eat it tomorrow. I know you guys were so excited to see what it tastes like, but I'm just, I'm not gonna eat, you know, gorge myself just to be like, ah! So that will be in the next video. Um, so let's do our wrap up. Nine days in, tomorrow is double digits, okay? So, here's the thing. I am going to do what you guys told me. I don't think I'm gonna eat any more nuts for the rest of my four days on Raw because I'm just not seeing any results. And although I am super satisfied and full um, and not even craving, um, I'm not even craving cooked foods at this point. I'm just like, I feel at this point like I'm a regular vegan. I'm eating raw, but I just feel like I'm back on my regular vegan lifestyle. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing the results. I really wanted, I don't know clear skin, bright eyes, great sleep, more energy, and of course the weight loss part, but that was actually the end. Like I really, you know, um, I did have really good sleep last night, so I will thank the gym for that. I'm not going to the gym tonight. I will definitely try to go tomorrow. Oh, I'm cooking all day tomorrow. We'll see tomorrow. But I mean, that did have a large part of it. I was nervous about going to the gym. Like it was, like I was gonna pass out. Like I haven't been eating nuts, please. But uh, sorry to keep rambling. Basically, yeah. No more nuts, just straight fruit, veg fruit veggies. Um, I will include, of course, my homemade mayo because I have some ideas to have, um, you know, salads, some more raw cow salad in the next four days. Let's talk finances. I feel like I've been spending more money. I can't necessarily put my finger on it um, because I've just been, you know, I went out to eat earlier. That was 20 bucks, of course. Um, I went to go pick up some bananas. I got them on sale for nine, like just little stuff here and there that I haven't really calculated, but I just feel like more money's going out. But don't, don't quote me on that. Cause you know, going out to eat, whether you're raw or cooked is expensive. Um, the variety of meals is fine. I, I'm not gonna do uh, raw lasagna, y'all. I have no interest in it. I saw many recipes and I just, I already don't like zoodles. I don't like zucchini. Even if it was squash, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in part four. Peace. Mwah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>